You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit at the Fuse 2022 event here in Madrid. I am delighted to say that I'm now joined by Tarek Amin, who is CEO of Rakuten Mobile Rakuten Symphony. Tarek, it's great to see you in person um, again after, after a few years of, of virtual chats that you and I have, have had. Um, as I said, we are at the TIP Summit. Um, how beneficial are the activities of TIP to operators as they, as they look to accelerate this disaggregation journey they're all on? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I mean, it's amazing to be here physically. So I'm tired of the virtual world. So, uh, I mean, I'll tell you, I really, really love such events. I love them and I think what TIP tries to do is to bring people together to discuss how we could collaborate for uh, future improvement in telecom in general. So I like it because it just really opens up the possibilities of discussion, collaboration, and ecosystem creation. I think we are at that age where we require and need this, especially as we talk about open RAN, a new architecture that is no longer about you know, vertical integration, but bringing uh, different parts from different suppliers, putting them together, and such event really is amazing for me. It's, I always connect in a way here maybe better than other larger events that happen just because of the objectives and motivation to disrupt uh, the way we build networks, the way we architect it. So I'm a big fan of this, uh, of this event. Well, talking of disruption and the way we, we build networks, you've, you made a few announcements um, around the, the TIP Summit, and I'd like to start with, with, with one of them, and that's around the whole subject and issue of open source yes. and, and what you've announced with Rocky Linux. Well, I mean, look at uh, this idea that not just came from just one day thinking that, hey, I should do this, but uh, the foundation of how we build Open RAN allowed us to understand you know, the, the various cost element associated with deploying products, both hardware and software. I quickly learned four and a half years ago, oh my God, we have this thing called Linux. And the Linux OS is the power of everything that is the operating system that is running all the appliances today in data centers and now in open RAN architecture. We also learned that Linux comes with a variation for complex workloads like radio. Radio requires real-time kernel. It needs a you know, near zero latency response for how you process these packets, 100% predictability. But you know, when Racket and Symphony looked at the cost associated with you know, Linux as an OS, Linux as open source, we really thought that we could do better. And we wanted to find a way to provide our customers a completely community-driven open source, not owned by Rocket and Symphony. And uh, you know, when we looked at the history and the heritage of how Rocky Linux got uh, started, its founding members, and most importantly, the number of downloads that has happened in this community, it was clearly evident to me that this is where we need to bet on. We need to bet on a future of a company that really embraced open source, the continuation of CentOS as an open source uh, community was critical. It allows us to reduce the cost, uh, meet the performance, reliability, security. So I am delighted about what we've done with Rocky Linux and CIQ to finally put in production a option to the, ent the entire industry as a whole for running complex workload like Open RAN DU. And this is not only for Racket and only, by the way. Any company that wants to take advantage of what we have done, we have upstreamed every single thing we have done over the last 13 months available for the entire ecosystem to consume, download, and see the benefits that we saw as soon as we put this system in production. Well, you mentioned the Open RAN DU there. Why, why is this an issue? Why is this a particular focus? Well, the focus for me has been, if you look at, I mean, uh, from the inception day of Racket and Mobile, well before Symphony, I wanted to really target the cost optimization on radio. And the reason was obvious. We spend 70% of our capex a day on radio. And for the longest time ever, it's this black box that, no, no, you cannot really do anything with it. You cannot disaggregate. And I wanted to change that paradigm. And so whatever it took... I mean, just frankly speaking, I was obsessed about this idea of disaggregation. To reduce cost, bring benefit, well before Open RAN as, a, as an idea came popular, four and a half years ago, I started this journey. My concept is just hardware software disaggregation. So, um, and when we looked at the DU, it is the most expensive thing for me that I wanted to reduce its cost. I wanted this appliance. It is an appliance, it's not a 
you know, custom built hardware. I wanted this appliance to be extremely affordable, extremely economical. I wanted to go to a level where when an operator looks at the cost benefits of Open RAN, the first thing they should tell me is wow. Really, wow. I have never seen cost and economics on radio to this level. And if you ask me, my dream and vision is to continue to disrupt, to get the cost of radio at an equivalent cost of outdoor Wi-Fi. That is absolutely my desire. And it's, I know it's a big, big task. Lots need to happen in both technology and architecture. But at least this is the dream for Rocket and Symphony where we want to hit. An outdoor-like pricing for a licensed radio product. Terrific target, and as you say, you know, why shouldn't we try and achieve this? Um, that, that, that's that's wonderful. Now, cost is one thing for operators. Security is always a, a, an issue. But you put out a, a, a paper recently yeah. as well, haven't you, on security? Yeah, I mean, l let me tell you, I really encourage, and I hope everybody reads this. We thought thoroughly, thoroughly about security by design from inception. It's not security after the fact. And you know, you quickly when you really deal with this open RAN architecture, and I've seen the industry talk about the security of Open RAN. And you know, from my point of view, my perspective, and maybe my own team perspective, I think the narrative is wrong if you look at Open RAN as a silo. You have to understand that Open RAN is deployed, whether it is a container function or virtual network function as a VM on top of a cloud layer. So when you talk about security, you have to look at it holistically. Now you have to talk about the cloud security, the policy managers that you would apply to your Kubernetes environment, uh, user identity management, all the things that you need to secure cloud is how, uh, how would we as Rocket and Symphony thought through. So this white paper is very, very comprehensive. And, uh, and, and I just talked to my team today. I said, look, I think it's important for us that we break this into its domains. And we're going to continue to publish these white papers because we want to educate. We think we have done something really, really special in Japan in Rocket and Mobile. I cannot compromise security, but I want to tell you something else. I can't stand in front of you today and say I'm 100% secure. That, that is irresponsible of me. You should always be paranoid about security and you should always assume that you don't have the perfect systems and only then you define a path that you want to get into perfection, that you really provide uh, hardened security to mission critical uh, platforms such as communication that people depend on, government depends on and so on. But I know and I'm confident that our approach is holistic. It's not just about a small thing. And that's what I encourage everybody to look at. Please read this white paper. Please collaborate. I know there's a lot of work that we have to do um, together, but I wanted now the world to see why we are excited about not just Open RAN, why we're excited about cloud, why we're excited about all the other systems around Open RAN. I mean, the possibility to get to a network that has no user ID or passwords no human being that really could touch this network as a CLI, and to make accessing the network where I will never know uh, the I, uh, you know what is the identity needed to access any network element. The password is abstracted. I mean, these are concepts we couldn't talk about a while back. So um, that was the first approach in this open uh, uh, RAN. Uh, white paper, but as you see, it was not just about Open RAN. It talks about a lot more topics than uh, you know than Open RAN. Touches the cloud security architecture that uh, that we want to drive in the industry. Look forward to reading that. Um, can't leave without asking you for an update on Rakuten Symphony because the whole industry has been glued to news from Symphony since you first announced. So let me, let me tell you something. I am delighted uh, to tell everybody. Uh, our uh, uh, reported earning is coming in November. For the first time ever, I'm going to share financials of Symphony. I have not done this before. I'm excited to share this uh, with everybody. Symphony today has celebrated its one year mark. You know, the amount of booked revenue in one year, um, I, 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 you will know very soon, we're talking just in 10 days from today, I will share the booked revenue, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it's really, really impressive. We have taken uh, five acquisitions and we molded them together to build the world only true software platform company, focus on 5G and cloud connectivity, the likes of none, I believe. We are focused on automation to drive, you know, like Tesla have done for electric vehicles. We really, really want to have a practical path to autonomous network. We have, um, Incredible wins, and the wins that we gonna, we have announced are going to actually be impactful. The new ones is about Brandfield. 
Now the world have given me credit to say greenfield, yes, it works. How about brownfield? That's the part that I think we are very, very close to inking a deal um, that um, I hope that I'll be able to share very soon to show our progression around brownfield architecture for Symphony. So all in all, I would say, um, you know, results financially doing good. Most important for me is foundation for the organization, the team, the leadership, the, um, the aspect of Symphony that I always share and I'm delighted about is the composition of my leadership, 69 nationalities, all coming together with one person. We are really coming, becoming more of a fanatic about this idea of changing how our industry is built, engineered, and operated. So I'm really delighted about the progress we made to date. A lot of work is still ahead of us. We're still one year old, uh, but um, I can't wait to share the financial results very, very soon. That's great, and I really can't wait to see what you achieve in your second year. Tarek, thank you very much for thank joining us. Thank you very us. much, really pleasure.